it's time for another video game figure review! This time courtesy of SEGA, and what's it going to be of? SONIC THE HEDGEHOG! So, well, besides the death metal or Sonic the Hedgehog name, why don't we get to that review? So, it's time for an Alpha Omega Sin Transition! Go! Let's take a look at the beautiful packaging, shall we? First of all, up here, we get to see that Toys R Us is the exclusive retailer of bringing us the original chubby little Sonic from the Genesis and Mega Drive days. Quite frankly, that is pretty damn sweet. Now the other one that's out there is the regular Sonic the Hedgehog that you would see from the Sonic Adventure games on up. So they got the regular one from 1991. Holy shit, that just seems like forever. So. Let's look at down here. Get to see the 20th anniversary logo. It's all shiny. And for those of ADD, this is obviously gonna be very distracting. Shiny, 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 shiny. Very shiny. Deluxe collector's figure with over 12 points of articulation. So that's very good because that means he's poseable and he won't just stand in one exact little spot as if he is a very, very, very shitty statue. Let's look on the back here. Now we have a little synopsis of who Sonic the Hedgehog is, as if people don't know who the fuck he is. But for those who don't, Sonic the Hedgehog, 1991. Capable of traveling at the speed of sound, Sonic is known for his speed, confident attitude, and readiness for any and all types of adventure. A true hero, he calls upon his skills to save the world from Dr. Eggman. Eggman. Sonic has a big heart and is always ready to help those in need. And there he is, being badass. Fucking awesome. And right there, you get to see the company that put it out, Jazzwares. And on the bottom here, got the SKU and things like that, the logo. And as a nod to Ashens here on YouTube, the sad onion. Look at that sad little onion. It also looks like it could potentially be a snork child from the cartoon Snorks. So, yes, there you go. Jazzwares brought us this very awesome little package. Ah, here. And. Up there, you get to see more. Ah, shiny. And it's safety tested. Fantastic. I'm always glad to know that it is safety tested in case I try taking this entire thing, shoving it inside of my mouth. That's what she said. And choking. Ah, choking hazard. Small parts. But that's mostly just, uh, you know, the random wires and whatnot. Seriously, if you choke on a Sonic of this size, there is something incredibly wrong with you. So, enough of the packaging. Let's check it out outside of the box. And here he is, out of the box. SUCCESS! Look at him. He's got his fist raised in triumph. He's like, fuck yeah, I'm out of there with all those stupid ass wires that were keeping me inside there. Now, as you can see, Sonic looks incredibly awesome. It's just like having your own little Sonic the Hedgehog pop right out of the game. He jumped out of Sonic Generations and right into your home! And he hangs out in front of a big ass PS2 shelf. He's like, holy mother of fuck, why do you have that many games? That is absurd. And I'm just like, because I'm a fucking nerd, Sonic. So anyway, on with the review. So let's take a good look there. Sonic's eyes, check. They look good. Sonic's nose, check. He has a nose. Sonic's fist. It can punch shit. He's like, pow, right in a kisser. Pow, right in a kisser. Pow, right in a kisser. And it's nice because you can turn his fist, his arm, and he can bend at the elbow. So yes, points of articulation, that's a plus. His other fist, yes. He can engage in fisticuffs without giving a fuck. Pow, pow, fuck Rocky, I'm Sonic. Right there at his waist, if you're wondering why he has a line there. No, he did not have a baby. He can twist. There you go. And tell me that doesn't look perverted. What do we got here? Oh, it looks like a Sonic noodle, but all Sonic dick jokes aside, we got his feet. Gigantic speed shoes. Anything on the bottom? Yes, a bunch of numbers right there. Luckily there isn't some goofball printing or some shit on the side. I hate when that happens. He can bend at the knees, which is very good. Most prostitutes are well aware of that. So, you can have him pose in all sorts of different ways. His head can turn and everything like that. As you can see, his leg can bend completely. So, all around, very cool. If you want to have Sonic pose in a bunch of ways, right here, 
um, look like he's getting ready for battle, as if he's gonna jump in Super Smash Brothers, which Sonic better be in the next Super Smash Brothers, I swear, if he isn't. A lot of people are gonna be pissed. Oh, here, let's have a better look at his shoes. Yep, his speed shoes. They look fine. And you can turn his feet. Very, very cool. Now, the detail on it overall may seem kind of plain, but, I mean, Sonic wasn't a very detailed character to begin with, and this works really well. He genuinely looks like, you know, the little CG version that he does in Sonic Generations, and that's very awesome. Ears, eyes, nose, shoes, everything is colored really well. I mean, vast majority of it has to be blue, but still, it looks really good. Now, if you're wondering, Sonic is actually 10 inches tall altogether. I have a little Super Sonic here, who's 2 inches tall. So there. He's like... Holy fuck! But yes, except for his shoes are much darker red. This, to me, is the appropriate color. But yes, all around, looks really good. You don't see any of that damaged coloring or anything like that with some figures. And that's something that I was pretty happy about. You know, you didn't see a bunch of nicks here or on his hands or anything like that. So it's pretty cool. And for a 20th anniversary collection, definitely something that you would ha want to have part of it. Especially if you're a big Sega fan, a big Sonic the Hedgehog fan, like myself. So naturally, yep, worth every single dollar. Now, they are kind of hard to find at Toys R Us now. The one that I went to only had one. That was it. They didn't plan on getting any more. Also on Toys R Us's website, they didn't have them there whatsoever. So if you're going to pick them up, I suggest you to do it immediately. Though, do not fret, because you can still find them on eBay and you can still find them on Amazon. And there are some toy stores that went and bought lots of these and went and started selling them there. The downside, they usually mark up the price. Now this one right here, it cost $17 when I went to go pick it up. So if you see it for more than that, you know that they marked it up. Unless you're in a different country, then naturally it might be pounds, euros, or some other random form of currency. But regardless, this thing's fucking awesome, and I give it two thumbs up. Look at that, Alpha Mega Sin thumbs up. I would make Sonic give it a thumbs up, but his fists are clenched, because he's ready to fist fuck something. So, fuck yeah. And there you have it. My review for Sonic... The Hedgehog, the Blue Blur, and Alpha Mega Sin. We definitely approve of this video and this review! So, yes, if you're a big fan of Sonic, I highly suggest picking this thing up. Because it's pretty fucking awesome, and you can have it anywhere. You can set up with your game stuff, and you can be like, fuck yeah, and be super awesome and whatnot. So, yes, he'll be sitting in front of my TV with my large uh, Mario figure. So, yeah. Anyway, this, as always, is Alpha Mega Sin and Sonic the Hedgehog. Nerds, nerdettes, and gamers, and Sega fans, game the fuck on. Can you do it too? Make, make the horns. Pretend he has his, his two fingers up, so he's like, fuck yeah. Yeah.